A man walks on the pavement with his daughter. Suddenly, the daughter's hit by a bin bag that was thrown from a parked car. Angry, her father picks it up and throws it back. He shouts to them to keep their own rubbish to them. The two threatening men go outside. One of them calls the man stupid and asks what is the problem with him. The father says that they need to mind their language and respect his young daughter. The threatening man says that he does what he wants to and asks the father if he's got a problem with that. The father gives up and says that it's okay and leaves. The threatening man says that he likes when people fear him. The father walks away with his daughter. Scared, she asks her father why those men were so mean to them for no reason. He tells her to relax and just forget about them. Seconds later, her father asks her to wait inside the car and says that he's not going to take very long. He hands her a jelly cup and walks away. Now, carrying a bin bag, he spots the gangsters and grabs a stone. He walks towards the two gangsters. One of them tells him to mind his own business and leave. He hits him with the bin bag, and the gangster falls on the floor. He approaches the other gangster, who's holding a plank, and tries to hit him with the bin bag. He approaches the other gangster and tries to do the same. He fights with the gangster for a couple of seconds and then finally manages to temporarily knock him down. The man steals the gangster's plank and threatens to beat him with it. The other gangster tries to protect his mate, but the angry father threatens him with the plank and forces the other gangster to run away. The father, still not impressed, decides to chase the gangster anyway. The gangster sees a man sitting on the pavement, wearing a hat, with a suitcase next to him. He steals the man's hat and suitcase and runs away. The now hatless man shouts, asking the gangster to return his hat. The gangster ignores him and keeps running away. Meanwhile, his friend recovers from the hit and walks in the direction he was supposed to. Meanwhile, the gangster checks inside the briefcase he stole and finds a wig and a red cape. He starts to slow down his pace because of his disguise. Meanwhile, still chasing the thief, the father continues to run. He sees the man who had his hat stolen and asks if he saw a suspicious gangster. The victim points out the direction and says that he was also stolen by one of those gangsters. Running on the pavement, the father continues his look for the gangster. He sees a man wearing a red cape passing by. He asks that person, thinking that she's just an old lady, if she saw a suspicious gangster running on the pavement. The gangster pretends to be a lady and tries to walk away, but the father realizes that he's definitely the gangster. He approaches the gangster while he's distracted and grabs him by his wig. The gangster leaves everything he stole behind and runs away. The other gang, wearing hoodies, approaches a car where the girl is waiting for his daughter. He shouts at her to unlock the door for him. She refuses, and he says that he's a friend of her father. She still refuses to open it, and the gangster, angry, grabs a stone and approaches the car again. Meanwhile, the fleeing gangster gets exhausted and is forced to stop for a couple of seconds to recover his stamina. He finds an open garage and decides to hide inside it. After a couple of seconds, the gangster thinks that the chase is over and tries to get out of the garage, but is surprised by the father, who happened to be still there on that same pavement. Angry, the father forces him against the wall with his arms. He asks the man why he looks so scared. He says that he's going to pay for his bad behavior in front of his daughter. The gangster tries to beg him for forgiveness, but the father stops him and says that he's going to teach him how to behave in front of his young daughter. Later, he returns to the location where the car is parked and finds the other gangster trying to break the car windows using a stole. The father threatens him as well.
Later, he convinces them to say sorry to his daughter. They hold a container with some presents for her and are forced to say sorry to her. The bearded gangster says that she's a good girl, so he's going to give her that gift to compensate for their terrible behavior. The father tells the two gangsters to remember that every action has a reaction. The girl shares her chocolates with them. The father warns them to leave immediately. <laughs>